Lucky Ayasi and this is Liasi Fashion. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sew a pocket. Pockets are very important in garment making and clothes making because uh, most times when we have our mobile phones, we put it in our pockets. When you have money in your wallet, where do you put it? You put it in your pockets. There are many things that you put in a pocket. If not, walking on the street, you're just going to be holding a lot of things if you don't have a pocket. So pockets are very important. While some pockets are functional, that is, you use it to put things into, some pockets are decorative. But for this, for the case of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to sew a functional trouser pocket. That means a pocket where you put things inside. So I'm going to show you how to sew an English trouser pocket. Please stay tuned. These are trouser piece. These are trouser piece. This trouser is for this trouser piece is for a little boy. That's why it's small. This is the back side. As you can see, I marked it with an X. This is the pocket piece. This is a pocket bag. This is what we use to construct the pocket. So first things first, what we'll do first is we are going to be ironing this gum stay on the back of the pocket piece just like this so i'm going to uh, put my iron i'm going to on put, put on my iron then i'm going to iron this piece this um, gum stay is called the paper gum i'm going to iron it on the back of the trouser piece so i'm going to iron it just watch very closely as i iron it i'm going to iron it on the trouser piece Going to iron it so once it's stuck on the iron on the back of the trouser piece as you can see i've ironed it so i'm going to measure now for the length of the pocket i'm going to use about um six inches now for a child you can use six inches for an adult you can use seven inches for a lady you can use 6.5 inches that's the length of the pocket but since this is for a child for a little boy i'm going to use six inches so i'm going to notch this area of the six inches i'm going to notch it, notch it a little so after notching it i'm going to fold here so the folding here will be like 1.5 inches that's the folding at the top will be like 1.5 inches so i'm going to place my iron on it and iron it as a curve so this is how we iron it so as you can see this is the front part of the this is the front part of the trouser piece as you can see i've ironed it so it has a curve so this is the pocket bag this and these uh, these are trouser and these are trouser piece so um for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be using a white thread a contrasting thread so that you'll be able to see it very clearly so as you can see these are iron line and these are trouser pocket bag so i'm going to place this on top of it like this then I'm going to stitch like a quarter of an inch away from the iron line. These are iron lines, so I'm going to stitch away from the iron line, so around this area. So watch very closely. So I'm going to place my footer on top like this, and I'm going to stitch. Watch very closely. So when I get to the end, I'm going to cut my thread. Then I'm going to notch this area down to the iron line. I'm going to notch this area down to the iron line then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take away the trouser piece away then this is our pocket bag i'm going to trim the pocket bag to reduce bulk reduce bulk then i'm going to fold here like this as you can see folded it so i'm going to stitch like a quarter of an inch a line but a quarter of an inch away from the opening so i'm going to place it like this so as you can see you know most times when you look at the trouser and in front of the trouser you're going to see a line a stitch line like this about the quarter of an inch away so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to open it up as you can see this is how it is so this area now i'm going to fold this in there are instances where um they normally use an overlocker to overlock this edge so if you overlock this edge there's no need to fold it but since this is the raw edge i'm going to fold it in to hide the material and to avoid free so i'm going to put it under the machine fold it in then i'm going to sew Going to sew stitch. stitch. 
as you can see so now the next thing normally is the the outcome the result is supposed to be like this as you can see but i can't leave it like this because um if i leave it like this if i sew here directly the raw edge is going to be out so it's not going to leave a good finishing so what i'm going to do i'm going to open it up like this i'm going to face it this is the back side then i'm going to fold here to the back as you can see this is the back i'm going to fold here to the back and i'm going to sew here watch very closely i'm going to sew here now this is the um this is where the pockets opening starts i'm going to leave like half of an inch down then i'm going to notch it around here so this is where my stitch will stop this is my notch you see i notched it like um half of an inch or quarter of an inch then i'm going to sew it from here i'm going to curve it i'm going to follow the curve i'll sew it and stop at the notch where i notched the back stitch then i'm going to trim out the excess um allowance just to reduce bulk then i'm going to turn it inside out use my scissors to bring out the edge my scissors to bring out the edge as you can see then i'm going to top stitch it this is like the final almost second to the final step so i'm going to place it and i'm going to top stitch it top stitch it open it up make sure it's um, well aligned I'm going to top stitch it top stitch it I'm going to top stitch it down to where I notched as you can see so now we're down to the final step so this is what we have here this is what we have here now there are instances where there are instances where um you use a different material for the pocket bag so in that instance in that instance you have to use a piece of the material this same material on the trouser to cover this edge but since um, I'm, i use black on black for this tutorial i'm going to leave it like this and the final step is i'm going to stitch here I'm going to stitch on top of here to hold it in place to hold the trouser piece on top of the trouser and the pocket bag so this is what we have so this is how to make a trouser pocket this is how to make a trouser pocket these are pockets these are pocket opening as you can see this is the back this is the back this is my hands inside this is how it looks like from the back side and this is how it looks like in the front if your pocket opening is 7 inches, your pocket bag will be 14 inches. If your pocket opening is 6 inches, your pocket, the length of your pocket bag will be 12 inches. So it's like, the pocket bag is like times 2 of the pocket opening. Um, please, you can like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can comment on the comment section. I have my Instagram handle, Luyasi Fashion. Facebook, Luyasi Fashion. You can also follow me on, um, add me up on WhatsApp. My number will be there on the screen. And maybe if you have any question or anything you want to ask, you can just chat me up. Thank you.